Hey guys, a quick video. Um, I was talking to people on the weekend at the Brisbane Mini and uh, one of the questions that came up was how should you go about configuring um, a P10 panel in x -Lite? Um particularly one where you're going to have either a Beagle Bone back or Black or a Pi and you want it to play um, as an FPP remote and grab the data out of the FSCQ files that you put onto um, onto that machine. How should you set it all up in XLights? So, the let's um let's first of all imagine that you um, had a bunch of universes. I'm just going to make them multicast because I'm not actually going to use this. Um, and let's imagine that we want to set up a P10 panel, and I'm going to deliberately um, put it in the middle here somewhere. So the first thing you're going to need is a bunch of channels, but Let's work out how many channels we're going to need. Let's imagine we're doing a three by three P10 panel. So a P10 panel, you would always model with a matrix. Um, it's definitely horizontal. Let's give it a name. Let's call it our P10 panel. The number of strings on your P10 panel should be the number of lines across. Now each P10 panel has 16. So if we're going to have three of them, that's going to imply that we have 48 lines across and the number of nodes per string well given that each string is a line the number of nodes per string is going to be the number of pixels across on the x-axis now three panels remember we said it was three by three so three panels each panels 32 channels which makes a total of 96 nodes so 48 strings 96 nodes one string one strand per string and generally speaking it would start in the top left um, given the flexibility of how you could set it up in um, FPP it's possible you could set that for other things but I've always set it up as top left. Now the start channel we'll come back and we'll fix in a minute but for the moment we know that it's actually 13,824 channels. So we need to add ourselves 13,824 channels. So let's imagine we can add it in the middle here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert after. So I actually want to do this one above. Insert after, I want to insert a null. Um, and the number of channels I needed was, what was it, 13, 8, 24 was it? I'll come back, I'll check, fix that if it's wrong. Uh, it's a P10 and I'm going to give it an ID. Now the ID number, this is relatively new in x lights and basically concept is that this acts roughly like a universe number and so if I set this to a nice large number, um, I'm going to set it at 64,001 um, because that's actually higher than the maximum universe, num universe number in E131 so I'm pretty much guaranteed that's going to be out of the way. Uh, I need to change it so that it actually writes out 64,001 there so that it's obvious. Um, but we said that was 13,824. Quick check back here, 13,824. That looks good. All right. So that's cool. I'm going to save the setup. So that starts at channel 2551 and goes to 16,374. So, but we, it was universe 64,001. So what we can do here is we can actually put in that 64,001 start channel 1. And you can see up here, its actual channel is 2551, which happens to map quite nicely to our null range. So what that means is when it builds the FSCQ file, all of the universes up here are going to appear. And then all of the universes here will, oh, sorry, this big block of null channels for my P10 will appear. And then a bunch of other E131 channels. And so that should work fine. Now, when I set my start channel on my beagle bone or my pie, I'm going to need to make sure that I set my start channel to be 2551 so it knows where to get the P10 data from out of the FSCQ file. So quickly going over it again, you need to allocate yourself a block of channels. The null's fine because you're not going to be sending it over the network. Remember the pie or the beagle bone's going to be reading it directly out of the FSCQ file. And on the layout, you need to define it where the number of um, horizontal lines is the number of strings. The number of nodes per string is the width. There's always one strand per string, top left, and set the start channel to match wherever it is your, your null is here. Now, the beauty of using this hash um, 64001 is if I came back to here 
and I don't know, let's imagine I insert, oh, let's imagine I do this. Let's imagine I grab all of these universes here and I move them up above the null channel. So now the null channel starting at 5101. Well, the beauty is because of the way I referenced it, this has automatically adapted itself to 5101. Now you'd still have to go onto your, your beagle bone or your pie and change the start channel for the matrix. But the beauty is, is X lights now guarantees that what, no matter what you do on this screen, it will always write the channel data for the P10 into that null channel setup. And you just need to make sure you match it um, up on the beagle bone. So yeah, quick video. That's how you would go about setting up a P10 in X lights where you're going to use the master remote method um, so that the, um, the Pi pulls the data out of the FSCQ file. Now, if you weren't doing that, if you wanted to actually send the data over the network, you would obviously need to define sufficient E131 uh, universes to generate you 1300, uh, sorry, 13,824 channels. I'm not gonna do that now. Thanks guys.